Hi all, welcome to this week's video for you, our school community. Just an update for you um, about next week's learning in school, it's DT week. Um, so just a reminder about that. And then just a few other bits of information, including a reminder about parents' evening. Have a great weekend. Thank you for all your support with the food bank. As always, your kindness uh, prevails. We have seen such an overwhelming amount of food coming into school. So a huge thank you. Have a great weekend. See you all soon. Bye-bye. It's DT week in school next week. We're looking at design and technology throughout the week in our afternoon curriculum sessions. The opportunity for your children to learn how things work, question things, um, test things, design and make things. A great week in school um, and building on from last year's work around our design and technology curriculum. Why not ask your child what they have been learning within design technology next week? Here's just a little reminder of how you can contact us. The school office is open um, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. every weekday. Um, you might catch somebody before those times or after those times, but those are the, the times we are definitely open and the office is manned at those times. And of course, the school mobiles. Um, and just a reminder, really, of the school times. You can see them here. Um, just so you know, Breakfast Club is available to you. And there's a slide about that further on in the video this week again but just so you know um gates open at 8 40 um but registration starts at 10 to 9 and school lessons um start at nine o'clock when re registration begins also but early start act activities are linked to the curriculum and a valuable part of your child's learning Now for some information about this autumn term's parents' evening. Um, both parents' evenings this year are in October. Tuesday the 4th of October for years 1, 2, 3, um, Rainbow Room and Sunflowers. So that's on the Tuesday the 4th of October. And then Wednesday the 5th of October for years 4, 5 and 6, Puma Shooting Stars and the pod. Early years, you will be contacted by your teachers and staff um, with appointment times for you too. Um, so just to say, so you know for this academic year our first parents evenings of the of the year um tuesday the 4th of october and wednesday the 5th of october just a reminder of, of how it all works your child will bring an appointment invitation home with them and um, hopefully by monday um next week these times have been allocated by myself um just so that we can try and own the, your family circumstances working hours etc um we can meet those needs this year we are asking that over the course of the year you attend at least one appointment face to face um so you can see your children's work and the progress in their books we know this works really well with some of you that have had phone calls in previous years and that's fine but we do want you to attend at least one face-to-face -face meeting this year um, and the appointment system has continued to be used following your feedback over the last academic year and the success that we had Appointments are from 3.45 till 6pm as normal and we are asking for any two parents or family members to attend. Um, you'll have, be able to take a seat outside uh, just before your appointment, talk to the teaching assistant um, that works within your child's classroom, talk about what they're like in class, how they've settled um, and anything that um, you want to ask them you can do. You'll get a chance to look at your children's books and look at the progress they've made just in such a short space of time since they've been in their new year group. Um, you'll be in the class then with your class teacher for your appointment time um, and there's only you and the, the, the you as parents and family in the classroom with the teacher and it just gives you that that privacy just to be able to talk about your child's education without anybody overhearing or um, being able to hear your conversation um, and we just as always we just make sure that we're, we're wiping down surfaces making sure it's as clean as possible for you um, but to, to allow that private conversation with your class teacher so if you're attending on the Tuesday, which is the 4th of October, you'll have a purple slip come home. If you can just return the tiny little bit at the end, cut it off. You can keep the main body of the slip just as a reminder for you at home. And if you're attending on the Wednesday, the 5th of October, um, yours will be a blue slip. And again, if you can attend, um, please fill in the blue slip just at the end um, of the slip that will come home and keep the big bit for the fridge. 
as always, you know, we are promoting reading in school, reading for pleasure and to develop a love of reading. Um, we are going to be providing a book fair at the time. Uh, please come and enjoy it and take part. We look forward to um, seeing you there um, and seeing the whole host of books we have on offer um, for you to buy for your children, should that be something that you wish to do. Because of the importance of food banks, particularly in the current uh, circumstances, um, we are collecting again this year. We would be grateful um, for your donations. It's part of our Harvest Festival in school and Pupil Parliament have organised this this year. But exactly the same as you have done in the past. Just one thing can be a tin of beans, um, could be a toothbrush, um, could be a, a comb. Um, anything that you think would help the local food bank, we would be, we would greatly appreciate and I know they would too. Um, can these donations be in school by Friday the 14th of October please um, and then we will organise for these to be taken up to the food bank but anything big or small just one item and um, if we all bring one item in that's around 500 items going to food bank. Thank you so much for your help with this. Here's a photograph of that food that we collected last year and it was, as I've said, a huge amount, nearly 900 kilograms of food and non-food items in total. Our pupil parliament ministers delivered this to um, the local food bank and they were overwhelmed, as I've just said. Um, what a great achievement we achieved as a school. Don't forget to look on our school website under our curriculum section where you will find our knowledge organisers that not only explain what your children will be learning but also create talking points for you to talk to your children about what they have learnt during their current um, curriculum theme in class. Um, to support this, there's also our autumn curriculum videos where the teachers model what the children will be learning in class and go through what they hope they will cover this term. Have a look, hope you enjoy them. Any questions about anything that you see on the website related to our curriculum, don't hesitate to contact us. Breakfast Club is available from 8.20 to 8.40 every morning. It's a time for your children to come to school a little bit earlier, have something warm in their tummy, start the day right with lots of smiles and play along the way. Um, if you want your child to come, you don't have to book. You just turn up our Breakfast Club door, which is at the front of the school, just at the side entrance, um, and they can just come and enjoy themselves. Um, no need to book, no cost, just there for your children to enjoy. Why not join us? You're very welcome. As you know, promoting good attendance at Wren's Nest um, has always been a priority for us and we've always had great attendance. In the last few years, as you know, COVID has impacted upon that and we are really keen this year to get back to our gold attendance assemblies to recognise those children who have got gold attendance, 97%. 97% and above um, and support those children in maintaining that attendance. This year we have a brand new attendance policy and it explains all the procedures and the key people in school um, that you need to know as parents who will support attendance, um, monitor attendance and enable at school to have great attendance. I always think attendance underpins a, a life, it's a key life skill that we learn no matter what um, we do in our futures, attending things on time and attending regularly um, is beneficial for us all. So it's a great habit to get into at the youngest possible age. Take a look at this policy. You can view it on our website, but if you did want a paper copy, um, pop into the office. Take a look and of course, if there's any questions, let us know. As you already know, we have a full adult education package for you, our families. We are really excited to announce that Job Club is now supported by the YMCA charity. This is held on Monday afternoons in the Adult Education Room. If you're interested, um, please, please come and visit. Um, 
just come into the main reception and the people that are involved will be happy to help. Our family support workers, Julie and Tracy, will be there to support you. Um, and it will be a great opportunity for you to search for jobs locally to help you either regain employment um, or find employment for the very first time. What a wonderful way to show your children um, the great aspirations for the future. And we thank YMCA for their support. Park safe at Wren's Nest. Um, you know keeping children uh, and families safe is my top priority at Wren's Nest. So as you come to collect your children from school, please remember to park safely, um, not only for our families and school community, but most importantly, our children. Parking on the yellow zigzags li zigzag lines isn't safe um, and it's against the law. So please don't park on the zigzag lines. Um, and there are parking spaces around, or if you live close maybe um just take a set out five minutes earlier and walk down to collect your children thank you for helping um to keep children and families at, at wren's nest safe while they're on their journey to and from school by not parking on the, the zigzag lines and just remembering to park as safely as you can um, when you do collect and drop off your children at school just to let you know who our trusted adults are, you've seen this slide before, but there are a couple of changes for this academic year. We teach our children in school about the importance of trusted adults and the relationship they can have with those adults if they ever need them to tell them anything or for them to help them in any way they can. All of our grown-ups in school, all of the staff are trained um, to safeguard children and it will always be the most important priority for us here at Wren's Nest. Just a few key changes um, this year. Miss Harris has become our deputy safeguarding lead. So she is the lady that looks after the deputy designated safeguarding leads. And that's myself, um, Mrs Parks, that's Mrs Smith, who you'll see on the gate, and also Mrs Cadman, who you will also see on the gate, who joined us last year. Mrs Vivash is having um, her baby, and she's had the baby, and he's looking after him at home. Um, so at the moment, she's not here, she's on maternity leave, but the four of us um, are in school to ensure that all staff keep your children um, as safe as possible. As you know, we have been celebrating Readers of the Week at Wren's Nest. These are children that are trying really hard and achieving well within their reading. Whether that's learning a new sound in phonics or beginning to blend letters together to read words, or whether that's exploring a new genre to read for pleasure. We want to celebrate all of you. This is something that we are really passionate at about at Wren's Nest um, and we are supporting the children in school to work really hard on to achieve great results within literacy. Let's see who our readers of the week are this week. Well done to all of you, our excellent readers, trying really hard to read new words, learn new sounds, read new genres of books, but also develop your understanding of what you are reading. Right across our school, lots of different skills gained to be able to read. Um, a huge well done to you. We are proud of you. Keep up the excellent work. Now for our Mathematicians of the Week. Let's see who they are in early years, key stage one, and who are rock stars of the week. Who's been on TT rock stars um, in key stage two, that is three, four, five and six. Not only are we celebrating academic achievement and progress in literacy and maths, um, we're also celebrating our super scientists at Wren's Nest. So well done to all of you who have tried and tested things, found out how things work and found out the way in which things in our world work the way they do. Well done to all of you. Keep up the excellent science work. I know Miss Wire is very proud of you. Congratulations to this week's VIPs. These are children who we see as role models in school for other children, both in their behaviour, through their effort and also achievement in class. Well done to all of you. Congratulations.
Well done to our winners this week. What great attendance you've achieved. Attendance is really important to us. Uh, it always has been at Wren's Nest because we like you at school every single day. And as parents, you support us in that, bringing your children to school every day. Uh, getting them up, getting them out, um, it can be really hard, but thank you very much for supporting us in, in great attendance. And this is what we want to focus on this year. After a very difficult year last year um, for attendance in schools, we want Wren's Nest attendance to be amazing and wonderful. And thank you for supporting us. Remember, you can still send your class teacher an email with work you've done at home or any questions about your learning that you may have. Here are the email addresses for each of the year groups. Um, just another way you can communicate with us if you need to. As always, please stay connected, pass on any information you receive to people that you know who don't receive it um, and Parent Hub and the school website are the best places to go to access the most up-to-date information. Here are some of the key contact details for you in terms of how you can contact us as a school. We have two mobile telephones um, that are manned um, every day by our family support work, uh, working team. Um, that's available to you. We've got our main school telephone line and also our, also our email address. This is in addition to our year group email addresses. If you have got any questions, you want to let us know that your child's not in school um, because they're poorly, um, please telephone us or drop us a message um, to let us know why not. Um, any way you want to contact us, this is the way to do it um, and we're here to help. The door is always open for you. We really do value our families and all that they bring to Wren's Nest. However big or small your question, the door will always be open and we're always here for you. Take care.